So let's get into the big question. DJ Lunchbox is on leave this week, but uh, we have one filling in from the maddest of questions from Mad Mike. What you got, buddy? All right. Um, I I've been I've been watching Ring of Honor, and um, mm-hmm. I've been having difficulty getting into the show. And I've been trying to figure out why I think that is because uh, they just celebrated their 200th episode. I've only seen about 10 of them. So, because that's when they came to destination America. And I thought it was kind of weird that they're coming to a new audience, but they already have so many established storylines, established roster, you know, all things like that. And it's really hard to kind of transition into becoming a fan of that show. So I wanted to hear from you guys. What do you think would be one of the best uh, ways to put on a new wrestling show, a new network with a new audience, new eyes watching it, if you already have an established roster and storylines? You can't say Lucha Underground because they didn't have an – like we were introduced to everyone on that show. Mm-hmm. So it that that's kind of like – because I want to enjoy Ring of Honor. I want to see more or less suggestions like how we can – fix it okay super case okay I, and i think I, I don't want to defend ring of honor too much but here but i think it was just like this was a new tv deal there wasn't a consideration right but you're saying right. there should be there should now now is your contention um um the show has moved like say wwe moving rod from 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 usa to spike is it a continuation show or is it a we have the ring of honor pro- roster we just started a, a new show here um, it can be either or. I mean, because they clearly had the Sinclair broadcast and they don't change anything from the Sinclair show where mm-hmm. people have been watching since episode one mm-hmm. to a Destination America show where there's a whole bunch of new eyes on it. And like they don't because there's one thing you can say about WWE programming. They give you enough replays and enough backstory to allow you to tiptoe into the storylines even if you don't fully get it they tell you who the characters are whether through commentary or through in-ring promos right right okay okay oh they may have this one i got um, my i got my okay. answer okay uh and and you mentioned we can't say lucha underground so, but i will say another show that happens around the same time uh, and that's the new the new show launched by chikara journey into chikara uh i think when you format your wrestling show like Ring of Honor is doing and like most wrestling shows do, where it's just like sort of a series of matches to build a storyline like 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 a regular wrestling show, uh, when you're on in front of a new audience, I can see where that can be a problem with an established roster and, and some established stories and stuff like that. I feel like Chikara did a really good job their first episode, and, and they've only had one episode so far, of introducing, one, what Chikara is, Two, a lot of their characters and a lot of their motivations uh, and and just the style of wrestling and, and it allowed people who – I think somebody who has never watched Jakar before could watch that episode and understand the stories that they were telling. Um, the, the, and it takes somebody who can describe it, who can – you know, educate people. They need to take the time to educate people on, on certain things. But, uh, I think they did a fantastic job. Like one of this episode, for example, I think really it centered a lot around the storyline they're doing with, uh, Oleg the usurper, who is a part of the wrecking crew, which is a a heel stable, uh, led by Sidney Bacabella. However, they're in a, they're, they're doing a year long tournament of, uh, uh, called the, uh, uh, challenge of the immortals where team members got drafted and Ola got drafted onto a different team. So there, there's basically a tension where he's working for Sidney Bacabella, but he's on this other team. Um, and, and they did a really great job of, te- of educating people on that, mm-hmm. uh, which is not something that's easy to do. Uh, I think that one hour Saturday morning style show is a better way to do something like that as opposed to do it, taking it the route of a normal, of a normal wrestling show. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think from that, you mentioned Saturday morning shows and you talk about introductory kind of situations. Um, I remember Saturday morning slam. And remember how much that, again, that. you are introducing people <laughs> because you're introducing these wrestlers and characters to kids, right? It's hopefully for the first time. 
And and maybe that's why back in the day when we had like wrestling challenge and superstars, you had more vignettes introducing people because there was more kind of time to do that. And you stumbled on this thing. Right. And um, but but I like the Saturday Slam style where it was these characters doing these things, introductory things. Check this person out and um, and 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 having that jumping on point. We don't need to know everybody's complete. Holy crap. Backstory. But but. I think there's definitely something lost when we're watching Monday Night Raw. You know, you kind of kind of catch on now, right? And I don't and, yeah. and, and Ring of Honor is doing the same thing, right? Uh where they're not giving you a lot of what is this uh what because if you, you drop in a Ring of Honor, I'm with you. You, you. you like the Truth Commission just seems so freaking random, right? And it's gone through so uh, many different things. Especially House House since it's called the House of Truth. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, tr- the Truth Commission was the uh, stable in WWE. Thank you. I, Jackal. 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 <laughs> Jackal, Sniper, Recon, and Kurgan the entire is, I, I've been to the House of Truth. Why didn't I remember it? Um, but anyways. <laughs> sorry. What if Kurgan was Ring of Honor? Sorry. sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um but uh but what no no the... no I, I i like that introductory thing like the main show doesn't have to be so 1.0 on, on stuff like that but but i, I i'm kind of i love that sorry night